Hello, wizards. I'm Destiny, and today I have collected many green items um, to arrange in my dorm for St. Patrick's Day celebration. So I've used a little castle magic. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. I'm going to open up. You hit Control G and that will clear your potions and all of these if you want to take a nice picture and then control G will bring it back again. So I'm going to open up a little furniture tab and we're going to take a look at some of the items I have around the dorm room. I tried to use a lot of green. I got as many green items as I could from the bazaar and some items I had from last year. And then there are some items from Monstrology. This Lucky Leprechaun is available for purchase during St. Patrick's Day. That's a pet. He's wonderful, just adorable. And then this lovely creature is the Pendragon. And I acquired him by collecting his animus using monstrology and then created him. He's beautiful, a beautiful dragon. These two lovely kittens, this is Wordsworth and this gentleman is Riff. And you may remember them from Mirage if you've been in that area. You can actually purchase them from advisor Francie Fries. <laughs> Francie Fries, doesn't that name just make you hungry? Um, in the Ruble Waste. But you do have to get your Calixco Commando badge. So you do have to work on that a bit to get the badge. And once you have that badge, you will be able to purchase these two uh, lovely cats. Then I have some items around. Who says you can't put a tree in a house? This tree is the wind swept tree. It is one of my favorites. I think it's really pretty. The leaves, look how they turn. You turn and the leaves turn. Isn't that interesting? It's just, I like it. It's really creative. Um, so I have that, I have the harp. I um, also have, this is Kermie's Fire. Kermie's Fire is an item that you can craft in chrysalis. So anyone who's into crafting or if you're into decorating, or maybe it's something that you're just getting into, there are so many items throughout Wizard that are available to craft and then you can play around with those items and make different things. I've always been in love with Kermie's Fire. If you look at the top of it, it has like this rainbow speckled top. It's so pretty. And I've always wanted to do something with it, like make it huge and then make it a dance floor or... And I don't really know how to do that or how to make it work, but I've incorporated it into this St. Patrick's Day theme because it has a nice red. It's going to be like my little pot of gold. And um, that's just going to be uh, my, my symbolism for it. And then all the colors are going to be all the lovely wizards from all the different schools. It's going to be an appreciation for everyone. So Kermie's Fire. I'd like to see someone use Kermie's Fire some creative way. I just really like this item so much. I wish I could do something with it. And then it has this fire symbol. See right here on the side of it? So I didn't put Castle Magic on it in here, but I definitely wanted to include it in the mix just because I've always had an appreciation for this item and I haven't really seen it used uh, so uh, make sure you leave a comment uh, or let me know if you see someone using this item in their home. I'd love to see that. Uh, in the back here, I have the green food cart. 
and I have glitched it, carpet glitched it, a little bit uh, closer to the wall. Um, so you can see it's kind of half out the wall. Um, and then the back, because this green on top from this green food cart is really nice. This harp I have from last year, it's the Shamrock Harp. It is a wand, but I did apply some Castle Magic to that. And then random items, this green gem, some gold bars, and then just some nice greenery throughout. Um, this green jewel, green crystal rather, uh, over here. So just some different things. I'm using two magic timers. One magic timer I have on, you go here to your options, uh, one second and one second, and it is not on repeat. So the actions that go along with this magic reflector are gonna be a one-time thing. Um, that is moving the cart down 250 units. Oh, make that. 500 units done it twice and then moving the harp up and remember that the shamrock harp was the wand we're moving that up 50 units we're moving the my beautiful windswept tree that I love so much uh, right click to cancel there we go moving that down 100 units we're going to shrink it by 25% just one time and moving down the other tree see where it blinks so you can see which item you've actually put the magic on so that windswept tree is going down 250 units and then shrinking that tree as well um, and then moving this wispy tree down 250 units so those are the eight spells that I've used remember when you use a magic reflector and it's the orange one um, and you purchase your magic castle magic from Babbage Bassett in Marley Bone, so make sure you look for him. And that's where you purchase your cards and your magical housing items. So I've used all eight of those spells. Now remember, each magic timer has two sides, so I actually could put another activate reflector and then have another reflector and have eight more spells, so they're very handy. But the reason why I'm using two, if I can get back here, I hope so, see if I can click on it, is because this one, oh, it's not going to do it, is it? This one is not on repeat. I mean, is on repeat. I apologize. Correction there. This one is on repeat. So for this magic timer, or magic reflector, pardon me, um, we are going to grow the food cart by 25%. And when it's on repeat, it's going to get as large as it possibly can. So we want to blow that up really big because I want to see that green from the top of that cart. Then we've also done it on the shamrock carp because I want that wand to be as large as possible as well. I've done that also for the little beetle bean bag, which is just a decoration that sits near the cart. And uh, the two tangle brush. I have one over here and one over here. So I have done that as well. We're going to grow those as large as we possibly can. And then the greater imp. He's uh, he's cute. He's flying around with this little harp. I did. I was going to shrink the Kermie's fire, but it was so small, so tiny, you couldn't even see it. So I decided not to do that. I also have here a green basket. So those are just some of the items around. Let me see some of the foli foliage. Make sure I pronounce that correctly. Um, Tangle brush, and then which one is this? This is a starburst frond. I like these little evergreens. It's a medium sized evergreen tree, but look, and here's a medium. Oh, it's clicking on the pen dragon. Here's a medium, but they're a really nice size. Look at that. They're not even the size of the room, they're perfect. I was trying to cover these two windows a little bit. So there's our cart, there's our little bean bag has a bug on him. I like these little mushrooms. They're just adorable. It's just a mushroom. Uh, here we go. A elephant, an elephant ear plant and then glowing mushrooms. So just some little items around and use some castle magic and uh, 
when I close up. Oh, and this beautiful little palm tree it has like a rainbow top. Isn't it cute? That's the Azteca palm tree. And I like the colors on the top. I think it's really pretty. So just a variety of some items. And then the flooring I purchased also at the bazaar. The bazaar is really a hot spot. Okay, and then one more topic really quick before I close up and we see the magic is that um, when I purchased Wordsworth and Riff, you do not have to use um, pet breadcrumbs with them. If you place them, they are going to stay wherever you put them. When it comes to an item that you create through Monstrology, like our beautiful pen dragon, or Lord Lucky here, our pet, you do have to assign them to a breadcrumb or they will walk around the room and do whatever they please. So this one I've assigned to the pen dragon. So if we go to, um, let me see, where would we open? Assign a pet. Well, it's gonna deselect him now. He's unassigned now from that. But we'll, we'll select him again. But there's another button. And then there's an arrow here on the breadcrumb. Do you see that? If you change it or move it, it's the arrow moves. That is the direction that the pet or your monstrology creation is going to face. Um, so we want him to face forward. This one, change, pre I'm pretty sure it's this button. There we go. It shows you that Lord Lucky is assigned, is equipped to this breadcrumb. So we can do it just like that. And then who's on this one? Sir Gracie. There he is. He's hiding over here behind the tree. There's Sir Gracie. Hello, sir. All right. So there we have it. There are some items. Also remember, you can go to the crown shop. This is where you purchase your pet breadcrumbs from. Go to Pet Snacks, there it is. You can purchase those for 100 crowns or remember to always try this. If you like being thrifty, I'm sort of a thrifty person. I do like to spend crowns. I admit, I do like to spend crowns. But when I can, I also like to purchase items for gold. So 500 gold, you get a pet breadcrumb pack and in those I believe it's seven pet breadcrumbs that you get. They are a little tricky sometimes. Uh, usually what happens is I will place two pet breadcrumbs down. It seems like it works better when you're working with two of them. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Um, so two pets usually if you have two pets. If you have more that's great or remember you can Go from one pet breadcrumb to the next and have them walk around in a little circle. Uh, do things like that. But there we have them assigned uh, just so that they will uh, stay put. And then when we close it all up, you're going to see items move down. And then items enlarge. Let me turn around. And there we have it. So happy St. Patrick's Day to all of my friendly wizards. I'm wishing you the very best and I will see you, my lovely wizards, in the spiral. <laughs>